Hello everyone, my name is Arboloni. Today I'm going to share with you three tips that I have for any beginner, woodworker or maker. Whether you're thinking about getting started, just got started, or you've been doing this for a while, you still think that these tips can be helpful for you. So I know I'm not an expert or master woodworker or maker, but I have been doing this for pretty much full time for the last couple of years. So I feel like I'm starting to get past the beginner phase. This is not about me trying to show off some knowledge that I don't have. I simply want to share with you the most, the three most important things that I have learned so far. So let's get started. All right, so tip number one, it's quite simply make something. Watching YouTube videos, reading books, all of that is great and you should do that as well. But if you never make something, you're not gonna be good or you're not even gonna be a decent maker or woodworker. It doesn't matter if what you make looks awful, if it's not straight or if it took you long to make. It doesn't really matter as long as you make something and you will be better every time you do it. And remember that everyone starts from the bottom. Jimmy D'Aresta, Bob Claggett, Samurai Carpenter, they all started from scratch. So do you, so did I. But that means that there is no reason why you and I can't reach the same levels as those guys. Just keep making and uh, you'll keep getting better. So tip number two, don't be afraid to fail. So failing is not fun, but it's actually really important, I think. Because every time you fail, you learn what you're not gonna do the next time. Don't be afraid to take on projects that are too big or that feels too hard, because that's the only way to really push yourself, to try new things, and uh, if you keep you know, making, uh, I don't know, cutting boards for the rest of your life. It's not going to be exciting and it's you're not going to get any better. So don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to try new things. Okay, and tip number three, and this goes really for the whole of your life. Don't care what people think. Okay, so when you're getting started, some people will maybe, probably, laugh at your ambitions, maybe they'll laugh at your projects. Sure happened to me because it's not gonna look good and uh, and when you say like where you wanna end up they'll just see a huge gap between where you are now and where you wanna end up so to them it's gonna seem impossible but just don't listen to those guys. As I said everyone has to start somewhere and if you don't give up you're gonna get there one day and honestly quite often it's the people that are close to you who are going to be the most doubtful and so for me when i told my family members that i want to quit school i don't like going to school i want to make furniture i want to make videos i want to try and build my own business i had this one comment from a family member i'm not going to say who it is who said you know oh so you want to make cutting boards for the rest of your life and the person who said this, you know, really wanted to help me, to help me think like, do you really believe that this is going to work? For me, I was just so sure about this, I want to do this, I'm going to make it work. So I just decided that I'm not going to let this comment, you know, pull me down. And really just it got me thinking that, man, I'm going to prove you wrong, you know. And that's what I'm still trying to do. So don't care what people think and also think about who is giving you the advice. Do they really know what you're talking about? Have they given it thought? Have they tried it themselves? And if not, don't listen too much to those guys. So don't care what people say, don't care what people think. Quite often people don't really think what you believe they think. It's just something you made up in your mind. So. Just don't, just don't care about that. Okay, so I actually came up with a bonus tip here at the end. Uh, and it's gonna be a long one, so tip number four, or bonus tip. Don't use lack of tools as an excuse for not making. That is really easy to do. I did it for a few months. What really got me interested in woodworking was seeing Sam Maloof's uh, rocking chair. So once I saw that, I knew that I wanted to make one of those, but then I saw 
I need uh, a bandsaw, I'm gonna need a router, uh, I'm gonna need a lot of tools which I don't have. And so for weeks and weeks I didn't make anything because I thought I had to have all of these tools and machines to actually make what I want to make. One day I realized I actually have a few tools and I have some wood and I can make a lot of things. So I started making some shelves and, uh, and they looked horrible. That doesn't matter. That got me started making and it helped me be creative with the tools and uh, materials that I had. And it helped me grow as a woodworker and maker a lot. Then of course after a while you get, you'll buy more tools and you'll buy more machines. And now I really have everything that I need to make a Maloof rocker. I still haven't made one because I'm too busy making all of the other things that I want to make. So don't sit around on the internet or YouTube and looking at what tools, machines you want. Take a look at the tools you have and figure out, okay, what can I make with these tools? And it's going to help you out a lot more than just sitting online and on Rockler or Amazon or whatever. Okay, so that was my tips. I hope that uh, it was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you like this video, please hit the like button, it would really mean a lot. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. It was a lot of talking, but that's how it's going to be sometimes. So thank you for watching, take care and I will see you soon. Bye bye.